Welcome back to our conversation with now former state senator Linda Dorsina Forey of Boston. Senator, with your departure, the Senate now has zero senators of color. Yeah. The House has very few. Is this state's political culture inhospitable to people of color, and if so, why? Okay, I will say that just to amend, I'm the only. I was the only black senator, so there's two people of color. I, I um, stand Sonia corrected. Chang Diaz, yes. who's Latina Asian, but also um, Republican Dean Tran, um, who is Vietnamese American, okay. who is first generation, who immigrated here from Vietnam. As Thank a you for child. the correction. No problem. Um, but I do think, yeah, we could do better, right? We can always do better, but not just in public sector, but also in the private sector. When we look at the board of directors, when we look at executive staff and higher management, you know, this is where, you know, we need to figure out how can we bring more diversity What's the um, in terms of people of color. Um, I can tell you that, you know, there's going to be a spirited race, no doubt, for my, for my seat, my former seat. Um, and you have good candidates that are running, you know, Representative Vanjo Cavallo, someone I worked with, Representative Nick Collins, who represents a big chunk of the district. I've worked closely with him, and that's going to be a spirited debate, and I'm going to leave it to the people of the first Suffolk district. But I do think, you know, when it comes to running for office, there are great organizations that are training, you know, people of color to run, really more women of color to run. And so how do we just have folks understand you have to be involved, you know, in the community, you live there, know your neighbors to your right and your left, but also go to meetings. And this is how you start building the foundation in terms of running for office. The Globe and Suffolk University did a poll last year. Mm -hmm that found that 42% uh, of Bostonians believe Boston's a, quote, racist city. That number was 52% among African-American Bostonians. Do you agree with that? You know, I'm a native Bostonian, born and raised in Dorchester, yeah. and I can tell you we've come a long way. And I think a lot of people from outside the country, you know, outside of Boston, still think of us as the 1970s busing era. But these were Bostonians. I, I know these are Bostonians, no doubt. And I, so we have to do better. You know, I think a lot of times we get comfortable in our neighborhoods, whether you live in Charlestown, South Boston, Dorchester, Roxbury. People get comfortable in not wanting to leave and venture out from their communities. There are great restaurants coming into our communities now. We just need to be able to make it accessible and let people know that this is your Boston. So just like I represented the South Boston waterfront, you know, we're talking about how do we get more transportation access directly to the waterfront from Roxbury, right, to the waterfront to access jobs and to really make it um, a place where people feel they can travel anywhere. We have to do better, no doubt. I mean, is it a policy problem or a cultural problem or both? Very good. I think it's both. You know, I don't, I don't think, I think Mayor Walsh is doing a good job, right? Mayor Marty Walsh is focusing on diversity, you know, we can always do better. And, and where does that begin, right? That's where we want folks to feel comfortable going wherever they go. But also recognizing that I tell you, you know, from my parents' experience as a first generation American, I, will, I can walk into a room being the only person of color. I belong in that room. And that's what I say to young people when I talk to them. It doesn't matter if you are, it does matter because it's maybe a little bit uncomfortable, but I want people to own their place where they are in that moment. So if you're the only black person coming into a room, walk in that room, own the room, introduce yourself because you belong there. Because so many people came before us through blood, sweat, and tears that I am able to sit here as the former state senator for the first Suffolk district. Well said. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, John. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you so much. Don't be a stranger. I won't. That's former state senator Linda Dorsina Forey. That's it for me. Now I'm going to send it back over to my colleagues for more WBZ News.